Hello, Saka Fat. Hi, I'm Roma, and welcome to my kitchen. It's that time of year again, guys. It's fall, and we have an abundance of pumpkins and squash. So I decided it's cool outside. I'm going to make some squash soup. If you want to see how I make this recipe, guys, keep watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Now let's get cooking. A couple weeks ago, I got some watermelon squash. And what I do, because they're plentiful this time of year, I buy them and I cut them up into chunks and freeze them. So they are great for making soups and stews. Here I have some onions, some carrots, and celery. And I did use some red and white onions. Also, I have a few sage, well, four of them leaves. So I'm gonna grind these up, and that's going to be the base for my soup. I have some butter, some chicken stock, garlic, cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg, copper bay leaves, and the butternut squash. And then we're going to add some cream at the end. So I'm not putting the cream out because, you know, it's cream. It's better stay cold. Okay, guys. So I'm going to grind this up in the food processor. So I'm just going to pour this all in there. Maybe it's too much at one time, but we'll see. And I want to get this really, really fine. Okay, that should be good now. So I'm not making a lot of the soup, so it's just three of us here. So I'm going to make like a medium-sized pot. Now in that, I'm going to add some butter. So we just want to let that melt. All right. So now that's nice and hot, I'm going to put my garlic. The next thing I'm adding is my carrot and onion and celery mix. Gonna add my bay leaf. Now to that, I'm adding four cups of water. So that's two, that's four cups of water. Next thing, I'm adding my chicken bouillon, some ginger, cinnamon and nutmeg so i'm just going to cover it up and bring it to a boil so now the space for my soup is boiling i'm going to put the bottom nut squash and I did that because to the bottom not the squash is cold because they're frozen. So yeah, that's it. All right. So now I'm just gonna cover that up and let it cook. That's it until I'm ready for it. I'm gonna turn it down once it starts another rapid boil. I'm gonna turn it down between medium and low and just leave it, let it simmer there until it's cooked. Guys, this has been cooking now for just an hour, a little bit over an hour. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove the bay leaf. Now, if I was using a butter, buttercup squash, buttercup usually just dissolves when you cook it. But this one, you know, it's, it's didn't do it like that so I'm going to use my immersion blender all right so we have this here number four so all right that's nice and smooth right now I'm going to put it back on the heat turn it back on look how nice and smooth that is looks so good i'm gonna taste it to see if i need to add anything else to it before i add the cream it's nice and thick and oh that is so good what i'm gonna do is add some chicken bouillon 
So just a spoon of that. It tastes so good. It's creamy, a little sweet. You can taste the cinnamon and the ginger. So I'm just gonna stir that in. And what I'm gonna do, guys, is just let it cook for about five minutes. I'm gonna leave it open because I want it nice and thick uh, so that when I add my cream to it, it doesn't get too runny. You still want it nice, like this is perfect now, but when I put the cream, it's gonna be more runny. So let it just cook down a bit. The soup is ready for the cream. So now it's all done. See how it thickened up a bit? Just five minutes, thickened up. And I'm gonna add a quarter of a cup of half and half cream. And I'm not putting too much cream because I still want to keep it nice and healthy. I'm not going to let it stay on for too long. Once you add the cream, you just bring it to a boil and then you can serve it. And here you have it guys, our creamy delicious butternut soup. Thank you for watching and until next time, have yourselves a great day and God bless.